everybody, thanks for watching. You're looking at the camera mount for a CG-03 camera. This is something that would go on top of a UAV or a drone uh, like the uh, Typhoon, Typhoon Q500 or 4K or the uh, uh, Typhoon H um, hex copter. Uh, basically, this is the part that clips to the airframe and supports the camera mechanism that floats along on its gimbal all happy. But these things are just little rubber stoppers, and if you come to a hard landing, they can actually tear off the mount. Uh, so there's a real quick and easy way to put them back on. Uh, first, you want to make sure you get the right spot and or the right section. So mine was modified to have a little <laughs> nice, nice blooper there. Mine was modified to have a little plug, so we'll have to plug that in for sure uh, to get a good connector. Uh, and then we are just going to go ahead and use a cheap tool that is immensely useful. This is a long nose pliers that I picked up at Harbor Freight of all places for about $2. Uh, it's got a locking mechanism here, just a little cheap uh, uh, serrated edges that lock together if you need that. But this long neck will let you reach through the place like this, squish this soft rubber piece, clamp it, and pull it out. Uh, it takes maybe one or two minutes to get used to, um, but once you do that, you can install these things. The only, only, only gotcha you really have to watch out is for uh, not to tear them. You've got to be careful with that. And uh, I've not done that, and I've had to reattach this thing two different times now. So first, I'm going to try to put this on. That is clipped on in place, and I'm going to start with the front ones. Uh, they're already attached here. I think that'll give you a better view. I'm going to try not to bump this little tripod I've got on my desktop. So I'm going to stick the nose through there and then with my fingers squish this down so that I can pinch it with my little, I'm going to call them forceps. And I'm just going to pull. Didn't work that time. Might take a few times. There we go. Wiggle as you pull and then let go. Okay, we have one mount successfully reattached. Try to get a light on there. Again, just try not to tear them. You may have to orient this the other way to get the other ones attached. So I'm going to try to attach the bottom one now. And you'll just do this four times and that essentially will let this thing float on these little rubber or little neoprene or little synthetic material uh, cushions, these baffles. And that gives you the incredibly stable picture that we all enjoy. So I'm going to turn this a little bit. It's always harder with a camera because I'm trying to make sure that the field of view is good for you. So it's not as hard as it seems if you're just doing it not to show someone else. Okay, we have two installed. I'll flip this around. And now you can see I need to install it on the top of these. So this is where I'll go ahead and turn this around. So reading glasses help. So do uh, so does a bright light. And uh, this tool makes it fairly easy. I suspect the techs at Unique use something very similar. So I'm having difficulty with this one just to get in the camera lens. In the field of view. Here we go. Again, take caution not to tear the, the material. Okay, did that go through? Oh. So that one I actually tore. I'm not sure. I'll, do I'll double check. No, I don't think I did. Uh, we'll have to pull that out and uh, uh, finish that up. So because of the camera's kind of getting in my way, I'm going to turn this off for a second and put the last two on. See you in a minute. Okay. Uh, using that method with the uh, needle nose pliers, I was able to get uh, all four attached. And now I'm just going to carefully check each connection and visually inspect the tops and bottoms, or bottoms and tops, whichever you're looking. 
and I think we did it. Now I'm going to hang it from its uh, little gimbals. Okay, that is how you replace the baffles or the supports or the uh, suspension for a drone CGO3 mount. Thanks for watching.